factors associated with fatal outcome, influenza positive SARI cases in Serbia. Although for most uh, person infected, influenza is a mild illness. Influenza epidemics and pandemics are associated with substantial morbidity and mortality worldwide. Pandemic of swine flu in 2009 highlighted the need for surveillance on severe form of influenza. During the swine flu epidemics, the most deaths occurred among vulnerable populations, such as the elderly, those with certain underlying medical condition, young children, and pregnant women. Limited data are available from Central and Eastern Europe on population at risk for uh, severe complication of influenza. And to our knowledge, no study had in investigated risk factor for fatal influenza in Serbia. So bearing in mind that mortality associated with influenza is of great public health concern, the aim of our study was uh, to identify the risk factors for fatal outcome in influenza-positive SARI cases in Serbia in order to help us to guide prevention and control measures, especially in high-risk population. Uh, retrospective analysis of case-based surveillance uh, data uh, among laboratory confirmed influenza positive SARI cases was conducted uh, 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 to investigate risk factor for fatal outcome during the three seasons 2013 14, 14 15, and 50 16. The data were obtained from the Institute of, uh, uh, from the I uh, Institute of Public Health of Serbia that collects data on laboratory uh, confirmed uh, cases as a part of national surveillance on influenza. Uh, the data uh, are collected during influenza season from, uh, from week 40 of previous uh, 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 year to, uh, to, 20, uh, to week 20 of the following year. In data collection, we use case-based reporting form for laboratory confirmed site SARI cases. And uh, the following data were collected. Basic demographic data such as age, sex, Underlining medical condi conditions such as chronic disease, immunocompromised sta status, obesity, pregnancy, history of influenza vaccination, type and subtype of influenza virus, and outcome discharge or death. Univariate analysis and multivariate logistic regression analysis were performed to analyze the risk factor for fatal uh, uh, outcome of influenza. Uh, all variables. Uh, variables associated with fatal outcome at significance level of uh, 0 0.15 in univariate analysis were included in multivariate logistic regression analysis. Descriptive characteristics of study uh, population are presented in this table. Uh, during the three seasons, there were total 552 uh, SARI cases. Among SARI cases, there were more males 55% than females. Mean age was 49 and median was uh, uh, fi uh, 54, range from 1 to 90 years. The most frequent uh, type of virus uh, was AH1 PDM uh, with almost 50% of all cases. Uh, uh, only seven cases or 1.3% uh, cases were vaccinated and fatal outcome occurred in 63 cases or 11% of study population. There were 22 pregnant women. Uh, 58% uh, uh, of cases uh, uh, had at least one chronic disease. The most common uh, was chronic cardiac disease with prevalence 22%, followed by chronic respiratory disease 11%. There uh, were 60% of immunocompromised uh, persons and about 5% uh, of obese persons. Uh, this table refers to demographic and biological characteristics of fatal and non-fatal influenza-positive SARI uh, cases. Only variables associated with fatal outcome at significance level of 0 0.15 based on HIC square test or Fisher exact test are presented in, uh, uh, in the next two following, uh, in the following tables. 
uh, so we can see here that there are more fatal uh, cases among males than among uh, females. Also, case fatality ratio was higher among those of age uh, 65 and older compared with those under the age of 65. If we compare uh, uh, influenza AH1 PDM with uh, uh, other types of influenza, we also can notice that more fatal cases occurred uh, or more fatal cases uh, occurred among cases infected with, with a pandemic strain. Clinical characteristic of fatal and non-fatal influenza positive SARI cases uh, uh, are presented in this table. And, and, and we can see that uh, higher percentage uh, of fatal outcome occurred among those with chronic uh, disease compared with those, uh, with those uh, without chronic disease. And also case fatality ratio was higher among uh, patients with chronic cardiac disease and chronic renal disease compared uh, to patients without these uh, uh, chronic diseases. Uh, also, high percentage of uh, fatal outcome uh, occurred among uh, uh, patients with chronic ne neurological impairment, and case, case fatality ratio was significantly uh, higher among obese uh, person compared to non-obese. In multivariate logistic regression analysis, the following factors were significantly independently associated with fatal outcome. Uh, influenza AHM PDM, age of 65 years and older, presence of chronic renal uh, and neurological disease, and obesity. So we identify several independent risk factors for fatal uh, outcome in Serbia. Similar uh, results were found in other study. In study uh, conducted in Romani uh, Romania, uh, independ uh, variables independently associated with fat fatal out outcome were uh, being pregnant, having hepat hepatic disease, increased age in years, and increasing time from onset to hospital admission. Tamara Merhov et al. showed that age uh, uh, over 15 years, having lung, heart, kidney, liver disease, and being pregnant are independently associated with fatal outcome of, of influenza. There are also some limitations in our study. Uh, first of all, it's a, the data uh, quality in, ter in terms of completeness because completeness depends uh, on overstretched healthcare professional to fill case-based reporting for completely. So there are some missing data, for, uh, especially from time-related uh, variables such as, for example, duration of hospitalization and such. In conclusion, we have identified some important epidemiological, virological, and clinical variables related to fatal influenza age of 65 years and older, uh, inf uh, influenza AH, H1 PDM, uh, presence of chronic renal and neurologic disease, and ob obesity. The consistency of findings from this study with other uh, published studies on risk uh, uh, factors for fa fatal outcome of influenza supports the use of going surveillance data to monitor biological characteristics and risk factor for complication of in influenza. Public health e efforts should target and prior prioritize vulnerable population for, va for vaccination and antiviral treatment. It is important to increase influenza vaccine coverage, especially among high-risk populations through public health promotion and also to provide timely treatment. And thank you all for your attention. Anita, thank you for a wonderful presentation and for data what you share with us. It's interesting that uh, the obtained data uh, confirm the uh, situation what we have already described in the uh, literature. And uh, it's good that... Um, this is his turn. It's cock. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, um, I uh, just uh, want to reiterate that speaking about uh, epidemiology and speaking about uh, our work in the field is to collect data, just not only because we want to collect, to analyze and based on this data, 
try to identify the appropriate measure in order to reduce the risk, in our case, reduce the fatality due to influenza. Thank you, congratulations, and now floor is open for discussions and questions. Frank? Excuse me. Konstantin Rimes, Moldova. Uh, my question is uh, concerning uh, the, your recommendation, tile, timely treatment. Um, because you described very well, and congratulations for good uh, presentation, but uh, you described the condition of patient. Um, what do you think about the health system and this timely treatment? Thank you. Uh, treatment is uh, effective in first two or three days. And we ob observed in our data that uh, 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 that patients uh, receive treatment after five, six, or seven days. So it is late and, and uh, it, uh, we uh, didn't found a significant effect of antiviral treatment on fatal outcome. And I think because it, uh, it wasn't timely treatment. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Frank. Can I try? Yes, now it works. Nice presentation, thank you. Um, you only mentioned negative effects. Were there any protective effects, like a stay in ICU, um, distance to hospital, maybe other things? Also, not having, not having protective effect might also be quite, quite relevant information. So for the rest, thank you for a very nice work done. We also try to examine and uh, protective uh, uh, measure and variables, but unfortunately, only seven cases or 1.3 percent of our population were vaccinated, so we couldn't find any statistical significance uh, with that. And, uh, uh, and the second part I didn't uh, see here. And. Uh, Frank, can you repeat the second part of the, your question? Okay. Because uh, one is... Uh, now I can, now the microphone is back. Um, I, I, I raised questions like, for instance, stay in ICU or distance to the hospital. Because um, I'm probably... Uh, yes, uh, we I we can imagine that those could have a potential of a protective effect. I, I mentioned that we have some uh, some mis variable for for time related mis data for time related variable, so we couldn't examine, for example, time from uh, onset of symptoms, and uh, uh, medical care seeking, uh, or uh, hospital admission, uh, so we couldn't examine that uh, uh, types of variable. Hmm? Uh, Okay, thank and you. also, uh, th there is no uh, data in our case-based reporting form, so we couldn't uh, examine uh, such a data. Vladimir is next, and after that, Silvia. Vladimir, you want to comment something? Actually, my comment was already raised about the time from the treatment, of, uh, so yeah, I got my answer. Thank you. Silvia, please, if, uh, if you have a question. Or oh, I go to protective measures like uh, measuring the respiratory function and oxygen, which is better than Tamiflu uh, in the beginning. So I know those are not in the reporting form, but maybe you can do a further study in terms to analyze the data and how much people stayed in the ward and how how the help was in the world and how it was the relationship with ICU. 
Silvia, thank you very much for your suggestions. Uh, of course, uh, we can improve a lot everything, find uh, new other factors what can influence. But there is any limitations and uh, we have the results what was seeking for. Uh, the last question is Dragon, short one if it's possible. Thank you. <coughs> this is much, uh, uh, it's more comment. Thank you really much for this very good uh, presentation. I would really like to say that now we can see how very well established surveillance system can provide us quite useful information that we that it is not necessary to perform special survey to get this information and for all this area it's quite good that you confirmed in this study the risk factors just to mention that in many of our countries uh, we don't immunize so much pregnant women also people who are obese and have some other risk factor and especially uh, small children so maybe with the uh, couple of studies like this, maybe we will change our policy. Also, uh, it's really something that you mentioned that you need really to force your colleagues in, in clinics to fulfill their questionnaire because this uh, data about uh, time that passed after they are admitted to hospital and start the treatment are very well, uh, very important. And also maybe that we do not have in our region clear guides to start as soon as possible with antiviral therapy with people who are under the risk. So that is the major reason that we are very late with treatment. Once again, thank you very much for this very, very presentation.